The game of charades effectively ends once the secret is out. It's been game over for a while now. So I'm talking about ticket to ride. Now many will never receive the invitation to treat. Some lobby to secure an invitation because it's one hell of a party. Affectionately referred to as Nadem Dem Commission, NDDC, which is actually Niger Delta Development Commission, like all other specially created cash vehicles, is an invitation to treat. From the early days as Umpadek till now, it has been a channel for siphoning money meant specifically for accelerated development of the marginalized and disregarded Niger Delta region of Nigeria. With the current probe ongoing at the National Assembly, it would seem that jail terms and forfeiture of assets await a whole lot of people, including members of parliament, ministers of Niger Delta, executives of NDDC past and present, and lastly, government godfathers. The theft here is nationwide. The narrative being spun is that, being spun is that people of the Delta who happen to act as figurehead top executives are stealing from their own. This propaganda originating from where I do not know is false. No wonder other regions of the nation search for ideas for creation of similar regional cash vehicles. The theft figures we have heard run into billions of dollars. Girlfriends supply power to the commission. The minister accused of sexual harassment of the female ex-managing director, Joy Nunez, who acknowledges that she in fact slapped the minister, Godswill Akpabio, a former governor and senator. He, in turn, alleges that Joy Nunez gives away the game that nothing much is expected to come out of the current malaise. Now, Akpabio of Niger Delta is not working alone. He was appointed by the president. The presidency cannot feign ignorance of the goings on at NDDC, nor can the governor of our de facto Bureau de Change Central Bank, Godwin Emefiele. Nigeria is on fire. The issue is not sectional. It is not about the wickedness of Niger Delta politicians to their own people. It is about the corruption and wickedness of politicians from all parts of the country who have been partying at NDDC for all these years. It's a micro microcosm of the theft of Nigeria by Nigerians. The greed of contractors who collude with the politicians, of the average Nigerian who gets excited at the mention of cash vehicles and scramble for a piece of it. So I call on Buhari to immediately suspend the major actors here, to prepare to subpoena past top executives of the NDDC and the Ministry of Niger Delta. Akpabio should be removed forthwith and placed under special investigation. Those in the Nigeria police force who tried to abduct Joy Nune before claiming that they do in fact now need her to be handed over should be suspended. Both the Inspector General and the Rivers Commissioner initially claimed not to have known anything about the failed kidnap. I'm praised to Nye Samwike, who acted as a governor and chief security officer of his state by protecting Nune from sponsored terrorism. Um, Chuka, I will take it off from where I stopped in the last uh, advocacy, <laughs> yes, uh -huh. so that I can drive home the point properly. Right. All of these uh, funds, billions that they are calling, were contract awarded to CEOs. Yeah. <laughs> CEOs. Yeah. Government would call a CEO. That's why somebody who ordinarily owns a business, is growing a business as a CEO, is given government appointment, he goes to church to do Thanksgiving. Yeah. Because he believes he's at home to chop. Chop, yeah. And, and so, on, on this whole issue, what sorry, should sorry, be for me? Sorry, sorry, let me just interject me? on that point. Because I know somebody who wanted a contract and had put in a, a template of what he was going to charge. And the government official says, double it. And because he refused to double it, he went and found someone who would. So the right CEOs are not being given <laughs> because they're looking for the CEO who had it. So but carry on, you, carry on. That, you can what, tag what everyone. I'm saying, that does not mean that there is no 5%. Like somebody said, those who are waiting to steal from government are more than the ones stealing in government now. At the moment. Yes. And, and so, yes, you have a few percentage of people who would say, no, my conscience would allow me to do this. But... What's the percentage? Even some of them, their I'm family, not that. The government family are selecting the them. kind of CEOs that they Even want to Even their family advance. won't forgive them. And that is why, if you, you I don't know if you've heard a statement like, oh, ah, ah, is a don't mind that guy, Jerry, that our brother that was given opportunity uh, and he refused he to chop. He didn't want anybody to chop. Where is he today? Where is he today, yeah. You, you hear statements like yeah. that. You know, and so now you hear Akpabio. Akpabio is talking about 
what had happened in Niger Delta before the IMC. The Senate is talking about what is happening even with the IMC. This is an organization that is supposed to come clean the urgent table. But here, their hands deep in it, and Nigerians are divided. Yeah. Some for Akpabio and some for the lawmakers. And, and so, until we have a head, thank, thank, you, thank, thank you, you said, uh, Buhari is not aware. For me, I think the man is aware, but he pretends not to be aware. And so, until you have a head mm. who believes that, look, you don't need to even hear these things before you whip everybody into line, we'll continue in these circles. Yeah of madness. Yeah. Mine is that I just feel that we've really reached rock bottom and we're going below that now. Mm -hmm. When you're having to hail Wiki as a knight in shining armor, it tells you that we're really in a game of <laughs> exactly. thoughts now. Because he has to be mouth. the hero. No. And, and, no. But, but let me even make yeah. a point. Yesterday, bold wiki, bold the, 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 wiki. the same yesterday, yes. I, I had an adventure yesterday, yeah. whilst the boy was fixing my tire, I saw a young boy, he couldn't have been more than, what, 20 something? He came out with two armed military men on a jeep, several of them. This boy's jeans were sagging. He was holding a, a bottle correct keg of Jack Daniels and swaggering. These it's are the people that now. governments are empowering. No, because no, if you keep, no, because father. whoever, whatever, government is, is, because you're talking about, um, what's this, uh, entrepreneurship and um, what's the word now, Imuahia and training up. This is what this system is grooming. And so the next generation are people who believe in getting their money, making, this is the kind of thuggery that survives in Nigeria. And it's very sad to me. Because and when I look at all this system, it's not hard to do the right thing. I, I watched a video recently of a Singaporean head of state who was saying the only way they dealt with corruption once and for all was it made an example of the key guy, put him in prison. Then it stopped. So we know what to do. We know saying. what to do. We don't, we don't want to. Hey, but you can say one that everybody basically out. needs to go because the president is accountable. Can I say, All of can them I, are can accountable. Can I say something that the um, the road to political power is paved with corruption? So um, whether it be the president or the senate, the road, the, the Everywhere process. Everywhere in the world. No, no. Especially, it's it's especially usually yeah. it's usually it's worse here. Mm. The road to the Asu Rock. Yes is paved with, you know, people. The system The system, it. yes. And so if you look at how Nigeria is, is set up, um, fundamentally it's set up to, to, to sort of nod to people with power, whether, whether that power will be legitimate government power or whether that power will be power acquired through others' force. It doesn't yeah? matter. It doesn't matter. Or the threat of it or the amount of money you have yeah, to yeah. buy power. power. And so, so, you know, if you look at the patronage system in which the leadership comes up by, you know, look at the elections. It was a lot of um, money went in, a lot of force was used, a lot of abuse was in. Right. So, and, and it helped to bring this current system in power. So how do you dismantle it without dismantling the, your, the, the base on I which mean, you're you are fighting ascended. the system that threw exactly. you up. So it has to be a leader who decides to sacrifice himself, himself in that process mm -hmm. to get to that, but to that point. But not looking like he's up to it. I, I, no, I no, cannot no. speak for him, but I'm saying that the, the reality you is don't that need to towards speak for him. The, reality, we'll see it. the reality is that the, the kind of leadership that you, you need now is the kind of leadership that says, you know, I, I, I'm ready to burn the bridge that brought me here and mm -hmm. erect a new one, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I don't care. Because the system is cancerous. Yes, and, uh, yes, exactly. So he needs to cut it. But, you know, the fact is... He's not aware. Yeah, because now look at uh, Akwabio. He's able to hold a gun to all their heads because they all know that they're all implicated in the What, in what the I find, no, what I find quite uh, yeah, he says baffling... All the House of Assembly have contracts. Okay, what I find now, baffling now. is that since this uh, theater of the absurd that we witnessed earlier in the week, mm -hmm. um, I'd expected the Niger Delta youths would be up in arms and up in... Yes, when I say up in no, arms, no, I don't no, mean no, that, see. you know, violence. The, but, but the ones that will, demonstrated in Abuja that were massacred, what did we do to protect them? To protect them, yeah. Mm. The ones that were massacred in Abuja, calling for the yeah, release yeah, of yeah. Ezra Zaki yeah. by yeah, the police, the people that we pay to protect us, what did we do? Yeah, but this is a new people? this is this is a new development. You recent development, you'll expect that the people will start talking. I mean, the youth. Uh, they talking about talking. In, in the Niger Delta, but it looks like everywhere just just went quiet. Yeah, because maybe like what you guys are saying, they have they're still thinking that like, even if we get a trickle. Is better than nothing. They're you know, not they're still... getting any trickle. Look <laughs> at what, what the images of the Niger Delta. Because I saw a newspaper have. headline that said, you know, they're not ready to disband that whole NDDC. Oh. You know, so they're still very much, they, they feel that they have a stake. Let it still be coming. 
then we can investigate. And nothing is trickling down to the yeah. people there. As we call out the hidden agenda behind our politics, aren't we glad we don't have to guess what's on your mind? Seydou's presentation on a spiritual solution to Nigeria's quandary continues to spark some discussion. Melissa Burdett says, Ekene, there is only one God. Ogun, Shango are not God. They are men. We know their father and mother. It's just like Abraham and Jacob. These people did a great job and people started worshipping them, just like how people are worshipping Holy Mary and asking her to intercede for them. I think it is wrong to be comparing these great men, our ancestors, with the almighty God that created heaven and earth and all things embedded in it. Well, Melissa, it may well boil down to a case of each to their own on this one. Whereas Black Sun Horizons 44 Black Horus says, Christianity, as was stated, is watered down, concealed solar worship, mixed in, mixed in with some Egyptian and African spirituality. Mithraism, Greek, Roman culture, all the characters from Eve to Samson to Jesus are simply Greek mythology disguised. Eve is Pandora, Samson is Hercules, Jesus is Serapis and Zeus. Like I said, each to their own. However, do tone down the hostility in your comments if you want us to continue to acknowledge them in the future. Festus Okwekwe says, such a delightful show of brilliance, intelligence, and critical thinking skills. Well done to you and your team. Thank you, Festus. So advocate with us on our social media platforms on Facebook, plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, the Advocate NG. And to catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash the Advocate. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Next up is Libros, who interestingly is on a similar ride with me. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.